For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Go find, babe. Happy dance because you clicked my video. That means you were drawn into this gorgeous wig just like me. And yeah, when I tell you this wig is so easy, like, let's get into it, shall we? First and foremost, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sophia. I am a fine babe and you can be too. Just like, comment, and subscribe to join the fine babe family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I love you so deep. From TikTok to Instagram, you guys have let me know you are loving this wig and ah, I don't blame you. The wig is bad and it has me feeling like a baddie, okay? Those of you that know me, help me tell them I never wear curly wigs but this hair is beautiful it's fluffy it's full the curls look so natural and succulent i also experimented with it and cut it into a little bobby bob let me know if you like the bob more than the longer length i'm feeling both shot i might get two of these and keep one short one long but that's not what we're here for we are here to see this wig straight out the box the whole point is that you don't need to install it no ball cap method i didn't even wear a wig cap to be honest with you the wig is just ready out the box to just put on your head just like that you don't need to dial anybody for an install pay any extra money for any products it's literally just pretty as you can see but i will give you some tips as to how i tweaked it and made it look better the products that i used and just a really easy beginner tutorial to just shaping the wig so that it can fit your face personally you get what i'm saying look how much better that looks with a few layers but yeah let's get into the video let me stop running my mouth so this gorgeous wig is from Beauty Forever Hair. When you get yours, make sure you come back to see me in this video so we can unbox it and get it ready together, okay? But yeah, once I open the box, it comes with some of these goodies, including the wig cap and the wig itself. Straight out the package, as you can see, the curls look like this. Take a look at this closure, y'all. So it comes pre-plucked, meaning no tweezing. The lace is already cut, meaning you don't even have to know how to cut the lace off. There's so much space on the closure, so it's not even giving closure. Let me take the styrofoam out so you can see that it is HD lace, meaning no matter your complexion or your skin color, it will blend right into your skin like it is doing on my hand. I was so excited when I saw that because even though I know what I'm doing with wigs, it's not every day. Sometimes just put a wig on and go. It has extra support with the elastic band and the combs. And I put it on so you can see I will not be wearing a wig cap underneath. You can wear one to protect the combs from touching your hair, but it's just not necessary to me. Just look at how plucked that hairline is. There's no need for you to do anything, not even bleach the knots. Once I saw this, I knew bleaching the knots would only probably lighten the hair too much there's no need i'm just going to take some tinted lace spray from ebon in the color medium and start spraying that on the closure a little bit goes a long way i wasn't paying attention i just decided to soak the whole thing <laughs> but it's really not necessary i ended up spraying too much just a little it's fine just <laughs> i'm going in but just spray it and once you're done you're ready to put on the wig so here I am with the bald cap, okay? If you want to do the bald cap method, go ahead, but you know, we're not gonna do that. I'm only gonna use two products today, which is the tint spray that I've already used, and then this spray on spritz mousse, whatever. And that's also optional too. But I'm gonna take some and spray it on my hands so I don't mess up my makeup. And using my finger, just going to tap some on my hairline slash forehead whatever this is completely optional i tell you it's just for a little extra assurance but if your elastic band is tugged enough like it should be fine once it's tacky i am ready to put on the wig like i said if the elastic band is on then you have nothing to worry about as far as using any product but i just like me some spritz because it just adds to the melt in my opinion especially in this texas heat so here we go the wig is on and look how gorgeous it already looks like the curls are everything to me. I love that the curl pattern isn't even just deep wave. It really does mimic like a really good wash day. You get what I mean? But let's get into this install. Now, just a tip, if you're not someone that likes baby hairs and stuff, and I'm not feeling baby hairs today, I'm kind of growing out of it to be honest, you can just take a few hairs from the corners of the closure 
and just separate it just like that. And then you're going to just tie it in like some type of like hold or tuck it or knot or something because it's gonna just hold down the corners of that front, that closure, excuse me, so that it's not sticking up. So here I am doing that and just a little hold, you'll see that it just keeps the closure flat down. I'm gonna take some mousse and just use that at the top of my hair to mold everything, make it look nice and, you know, installed. Look how pretty that is, guys. I'm literally melting into the screen. I love this hair. <laughs> I couldn't get it closed. <laughs> anyways but yeah just gonna start teasing it a little bit so the curls won't be so stuck together that it can give a more natural look personally if you don't plan on doing anything else after this and you're happy then fine cool but i'm not gonna tease it too much because i'm gonna take some scissors and go through the hair and just cut some pieces starting at the front just to frame my face don't be intimidated by scissors if you're not that confident in your cutting skills you don't have to be with this wig because it's so curly you can really get away with making a few mistakes and nobody would notice okay so this is still very beginner friendly i suggest you do it because it frames the face a lot better i'm trimming the end so it doesn't look um you know so separated and then i'm starting at the top and mainly cutting some layers into the top i'm moving the scissors down in a downward motion consistently so it doesn't look choppy and then just trimming at the ends there have fun practice be confident in doing this because with curly hair you can really get away with a lot i'm taking some mousse and just sinking those curls back together because obviously all that movement was you know spreading the hair a little bit too far and there it is we did that fine babe and just like that you're done unless you want to have more fun and cut this into a bob like i did either way i just love the way it is the links are down below in the description box and make sure you use my code to save money off i just love how easy this was i got scissor happy off camera i thought i finished recording and i was like hold up let me cut this thing into a bob it was pretty easy the same way you saw me cut it in the beginning i just trimmed some pieces off for the bangs and just cut the hair like over and over again at the bottom until it was as short as i wanted it to be like that i honestly can't tell you which version i like more comment down below and let me know because if i cut into a bob for no reason i personally love the bob i'm gonna keep it but i will get this hair again and keep it in the other length too because they are both gorgeous send me your looks and tag me if you decide to get this wig and wear it yourself i can't wait to see it on you ah, it is gorgeous i hate to leave you but i will see you in my next video and thank you so so much for watching and supporting my channel bye guys see you next time